Hey Athos Saxophones, thanks for joining me. On today's video, it's Accent Book page 13. Accent Book 2, page 13. On this page in the upper left hand corner, we're given the fingering guide for the note high B. High B lives above the first ledger line in the treble clef. The rhythm pattern today is an eighth and two sixteenth notes. This rhythm pattern is counted one and a two and a three and a four and a. And like sixteenth notes, I often use the word blueberry as my word that has the same syllables to the rhythm pattern an eighth and two sixteenths. In the upper right hand corner, we have a dynamic marking F dash P. This is used when we have repeat and we have to play the same line twice. F first time we'll play it forte, and P, second time, we'll play it softly, or piano. Let's practice or get started with our practicing today by do doing number 39, high note happening. It's in 3-4 time, and it's got an F sharp. We'll get to use our, our new note high B as well. One, two, and three. Ready, set, and go. <laughs> In number 40, we get to use our rhythm pattern, an eighth and two sixteenths. This song is called 16th Avenue. It's got F sharps and C sharps and is in 4-4 time. I'll count the counting for exercise 40. One and two and a three and four. One and a two and three and four. One and a two and three and a four. One and a two and a three and four. And you'll notice I said the number and a, and that's our blueberry rhythm. Let's play number 40. Don't forget your sharps. One, two, ready, and go. <laughs> Let's do it again. One and two and a ready and go. If you need to, pause and practice that exercise, then rewind and review. El Floron is our, next, is our next exercise and our duet for page number 13. I'll start by playing part A. One and two and go. <laughs> One and ready and go. Rest. How did you do on that duet? Go back and try playing the opposite part as me and see if you can have some success. Number 42 is an American folk song called the Paw Paw Patch. It's in 2-4 time with no sharps or flats. Take care in the second ending because of the 16th notes. One and two, E and O, one and two. Here we go, the Paw Paw Patch. One and two and ready, set, go. <laughs> Second ending with me. Second ending, ready, set, and go. <laughs> Nicely done. Our next exercise is from The Four Seasons by Vivaldi. 
it's spring. And here we get to use our F-P dynamic mark from the top of the page. Each of these lines get repeated because of a first and second ending. Each of these lines will play the first time loud and the second time softly to add variation. This piece is in cut time. One and two and ready and go. There you go. Did you play the forte and the piano? Sometimes it's hard to remember, especially when you have so many other things going on, like the cut time and the sharps and flats. The last exercise is number 44. It's accent on creativity using passing tones and neighbor tones. Write your own variation to this theme by adding passing tones and neighbor tones. Passing tones are the notes that go between two different tones. Neighbor tones are the notes that live above or slightly below two repeated notes. So where you see two notes that are different, put a passing tone between them. And where you see two notes that are the same, put a neighbor tone between them. Then play number 44 and see what your variation sounds like. So until I see you next time, keep practicing.